Okay, so I thought I'd create a quick video to show the process that I use when I'm developing my PhoneGap apps and in case it might be helpful to others to see one potential workflow between creating your project, um, using an IDE to code and edit it, and then testing and debugging. So I started at the command line. I use the PhoneGap command line tools for iOS to create my project. So if we look at my directory, I'm currently in my downloaded PhoneGap live iOS bin folder. From there we can see there's various scripts that we can use, but we're going to use the create script. And here we just call create. I've already typed it in. I'm creating my phone gap project under the user root. And I'm calling the package com.sample.phonegapapp. And then the application name is my app. You can see the documentation on the phone gap website for more details. But once I do that, I go ahead and hit enter and no errors. So we should be able to see it created. There it is. In my user root, I have my phone gap project. Now from here, what I would typically do is open the IDE of choice, which in my case right now is WebStorm by JetBrains, and do all of the coding I need to do on my app. So I'm going to open that here. So I select that root folder and open that. And you can see in there I have a www folder um, and some other files. I'm going to ignore that. So if we look, we can see a basic wrapper app for PhoneGap um, that was already created when I ran that script. So it's nice to know that you have something to work with to make sure that PhoneGap is um, working and your app you have a simple app to start with. So if we make a little change here, I'm going to say connecting to my device just to show you how you can make changes within all of these files in here. And then you're going to go back and if you go into the folder that was created, you're going to see the myapp.xcode project, which is created when we ran that create script. So the next thing I would do, if assuming I made my changes and I now wanted to see it running on my device to make sure things were working, I would go into double click on that Xcode project to go into Xcode and actually run my app. So here we can see the www folder. I have the index.html. We can see that it has the code that I just edited in WebStorm. So you can actually switch between those two IDEs and just save and, and be able to work with the same code there easily. Um, so in this case, I'm going to actually just run it on the simulator. So here I might want to go ahead and test it to make sure that everything is working right and PhoneGap um, is working properly. So we can see there's an app.initialize, which is just this default code that was put in there for me to um, used for my wrapper project. So here we have the simulator coming up and we can see device is ready. We, this is the default um, command line script project and it's all working just fine. But assuming it wasn't working or let's say we wanted to modify the, um, the way it looks, we could use the Safari developer tools to do that with the simulator or with the device. So in my post I talk about this, you need to actually have the um, feature enabled and the develop menu enabled to do this, but once it's enabled, which there's a link to do that in my blog post, but once you have it, you can see this new develop menu, and here I'm going to pick iPhone simulator. I've also used it with my phone, so I could at this point use that um, as well. So it's going to detect that I have this running in my simulator, and now I can go through and traverse HTML for instance if I wanted to click on the HTML file you can see on the right as I'm hovering over these different elements they're being selected so I could play with some of the HTML styling you can see over here all the different styles that are used it's very similar to the Chrome developer tools and you can you know change things as needed here for testing you can also go into the console and for instance I had that app variable if we look back again, I have this app variable. If I wanted to see the value of it, we could jump over here and just say app. And there is my app variable. So you can do different debugging here. You can set breakpoints in your JavaScript. You can see these different breakpoints here. And, and then um, do you know the necessary debugging for your app. So it's an easy way to quickly create your app, code it, edit it, run it in Xcode, and debug it um, all within a couple minutes. So now if we wanted to go back and change some more code, we can go back here, save it, 
I can flip over to Xcode. You can see I've already removed the my from there. So I could then stop and rerun it, and my latest code changes would be um, in effect just by keeping those two open. And then if I wanted to debug again, I could just bounce back over to Safari and go back into my uh, debugging developer tools web inspector and all of that right here. So that's pretty much it. I hope that's very helpful, and um, please ping me if you have any questions. Thanks.